All right, guys. So the project for today is we're replacing the faucet in the bathroom. So what you've got to do is you have these two twisty plastic things here that hold the um, faucet basically onto the vanity. And then you obviously have your water lines. You can see this one is hot and one is cold. So I disconnected this. This fitting here kind of disconnects from that. And what I use is I use this wrench, this adjustable wrench to loosen that up. And then we go ahead over here and then we'll have to go down over here and loosen this. Sometimes you have to wind up replacing this valve. This valve has already been replaced on that side and looks like it's replaced on this side. So hopefully that won't happen. So you take these off and this is your hose that connects up to there. And then that gets the faucet out. And then we have to do this part over here, the drain. So uh, that's the first part. Hey right, guys, if you can see that, see the connection right here? That's where the water connection was going with the hose that was going up top. So that was the top part and then the bottom part, I disconnected it. So basically we're doing the same thing over here. So I loosened it up with a 5 8 and you can tell we already got the top part off. And to make sure you're gonna do this guys, always make sure that valve is nice and tight. Now there will be some residual water coming out and you'll know that if your valve is this valve is the original one this one looks pretty new so we don't see a little residual water comes out and that it was the hose so now we basically have the whole setup over here and we're just going to go ahead and then remove this piece right here and put the new one in and it'll be a bit of three-step process the faucet and then the um, cables you know for the water and then this all right peeps so we did the other two steps and so now we're going to try to get this drain tube out and you can tell this is the original this is the plastic one then they put an extender so you know the way things go guys right righty tighty lefty loosey so up here it's facing this way so it's righty tighty but since the threads are facing downward here um we're actually going to the right <clears throat> to loosen it up so we were able to get this loose here so that's good but we still got to get this other piece here We'll just keep going until we can get that thing off and then hopefully this piece will lift off and we can get this out of here and we can get the new drain tube in there and we put that in there and once that's in there then we'll go ahead and we'll put the new faucet in here and you got to be careful with the p-trap here guys because this part will start spinning and you might mess this up here too and sometimes check this if there's any corrosion over here you might want to replace this while you're doing this this one has a little bit but it's not too bad there you go folks so we got everything out that's the new drain tube see we got it all up we got to clean all that up if you come down here you can see right we got it all taken apart and this is the overflow flow tube we're going to clean that off and then when we do that the way it's going to look see that's going to be right there that's going to be your drain tube and then we're going to go back here and hook up the this part of the drain tube and then it's just going to be reassembly of the way it is with the p-trap down there and putting in the gasket and hooking up this overflow thing and everything so once you've taken it apart putting it back together is pretty much the reverse of taking it apart right and then we'll have a nice new faucet all right buddy so this is part five here so we're putting the p-trap back in we have the new drain tube in with obviously this thing here that the plunger right for up here we still haven't hooked up the um, faucet and hooked up the cable the hoses yet but that'll be happening so what you got to remember guys is you got to put some uh, plumber's tape right over here right and Teflon tape so there's a gasket with inside this fitting here so then you also put the uh, Teflon tape and when you wrap Teflon tape you want to wrap it in the opposite way that you're turning for the thread so if it's righty tighty lefty loosey you want to have the thread going the other way otherwise it, it'll keep going with it and it'll want to get taken off and it's okay to put uh, quite a bit so it hangs out there because that's going to help with the any water leaks here so we got that part and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this piece back into here like that and that'll bridge this gap here and then we'll install the all right folks so following on the last video we didn't have this part connected 
So now we have the extender because this piece doesn't really go down all the way. There's a gap about an inch and a half. So this bridges the gap. So this just makes it tight. So obviously the water is going down here, coming up. So the most important one you have to worry about is here because then the water is going to be forced out. We may need to put some plumber's putty on top of this, but we'll see if we have to do that. But as you can see, I got the Teflon tape, the, th the thread tape right here. I got it in all the different places. It's no problem if you use too much, as long as you get a good seal there. And we'll tighten this up, and then we're going to tighten all this up. And once this is all tightened up here, everything in this setup, guys, then we're going to pour some water down here and make sure and check for leaks. And if we have that all perfect, then we know this part is done. Then we'll go to the part where we'll be installing the faucet and hooking up the hoses going down, and then we'll be complete. All right, guys, so we basically have everything together here. We've installed the faucet. And we've got the connectors and the hoses and we have our um you know the teflon tape on every everything you can with teflon tape and we got our gaskets all here aligned properly and what i try to do with these is you just kind of do a hand tight it should be good sometimes you take these you wind up stripping things we've already run the water and tested it out this part doesn't really matter it's it's okay up top here this is just a conduit to get this here and uh, we should be going and uh, you don't want to hurt your hands people ah that's enough. All right, folks, part seven of this video, whatever, how to install everything. So in the previous video, we showed you everything here was nice and tight. And then there's a connector, right? Got the Teflon tape on that one. Got the hose for the hot water and the cold water. And the last thing we're doing up here is we're just gonna hand tighten these little screws. Right here, this little plastic, you just go ahead and use hand tighten that to keep the faucet nice aligned. It is nice if you have an assistant up top there who can make sure that everything is aligned properly. And then the last thing we do is we're going to put in the plunger piece that's going to connect to this to this and it's going to connect this and it's going to help you with the plunger so when the plunger goes up and down where that plastic piece is ah there it is folks so the next thing i can't do when i'm holding the phone but this is going to go inside here and it's going to connect to the plunger up top there and it's going to do, 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 and it goes up and down and that's what gets your plunger to keep the sink open or closed if you want to drain anything out. so la di da all right folks so this is the final video so we put everything together we did the hand tight like i said and i had my assistant turn it on and there was some water coming out of here this part was definitely not on all the way so i hand twisted down as far as i could and then you take your open end wrench and you just go on here and got it and then we dried it off and we tested it and it's nice and warm because the warm water was on nothing leaking from here but there was a little bit of a leak coming from over here because there's a plastic then there's a gasket then there's a plastic then there's a rubber gasket in the middle and there's another gasket here so it was leaking out of these threads before so i have managed to go ahead and do the same thing so that's what happens people after you're done installing everything you have you run the water and I have an assistant here turning the water on for me so that I can see. And I just tighten this thing up and you just keep going. And eventually it gets tight enough that if there's no water coming out of here. And always try to keep a rag underneath so if in case you have any leaks, runs, drips, or errors, you can catch it. And thanks.